Ah, it's really nice to hear the car again and drive the car and to be back here up in where we are now in San Romola is also really nice to see the look the same as it did 35 years ago. It was a nice rally because we, in those days it was both tarmac and gravel. We start off a little bit around here on the tarmac and then we went down south and did two days on the gravel and then back up here and do one night on the tarmac again. So that was really special in that case because the mechanics had to work hard to change the car from tarmac to gravel and from gravel back to tarmac again and things. It was, I was different rally then. In 82 I was able to win here with the A2 Quattro, but then we went here with the Sport 84 to do it. And okay, then it was a nice because that car was a bit quicker and a bit easier on the tarmac. Because it was a really good time for rallying those years there in the 80s because all the manufacturer was involved and the teams was very professional and that was good competition. Yeah, of course Audi was first with four-wheel drive. I think in the beginning no one really was thinking it's going to be that good. But I think after the first Monte Carlo I think everybody realized how good that car was in the competition. Especially in Monte when it was a bit snow and ice and it was absolutely outstanding. Gravel as well, we was far quicker than anybody else in the beginning, so everybody has to start looking for four-wheel drive. And you can't hardly explain for people the difference they need to be in the car to get their own feeling about it, because that was a bit of a shock for the rest of rallying, I think, when they came with the four-wheel drive. Okay, for me it was actually quite easy because I was coming from front-wheel driven cars and the Quattro you had to drive very similar to front-wheel driven cars. So for me it was quite easy to adapt to the four-wheel drive. Uh, difficult to explain, but okay. Front-wheel drive, it's a bit of understeering and bit, so you have to drive it a bit special and that was working very well on the Audi as well. Because to try to drive the Audi like a real wheel driving car sideways and things, it was a bit tricky to get that working. It feels like home when you get into them because you've been spending so much time in those cars. So it's like it was yesterday anyway when you get in. It was nice and powerful and things, but I think the main thing is the public because they really love the noise from the engine because they keep asking me even today about that thing and they talk about it. So I think that was the main thing was the spectator. For us driving was okay, nice powerful engine, but it's, we couldn't hear the noise. I think what Audi did in the beginning of the 80s with the Quattro coming, I think that was doing a lot for Audi. And okay, you can see today as well, but it's a pants a bit because sometimes it could be at least a couple of minutes if you was lucky, if you was doing a rally with no problem at all. But okay, very often those days we had a puncture or something, so we lose a couple of minutes when we was changing that and things. But in those times it was time to catch back a bit. But okay, today if they have a puncture, they are far behind. <laughs> today, with the cars they have today. The cars are quick and the drivers are really quick. So, and rallies are shorter, so they really have to push. And you can see that because they do three days running and it, just a few seconds between them all, so it's really competitive this time now.